Hi, thanks for joining us today on the channel. I'm Christine Elizabeth. Today, I want to talk about why it's important to have real heroes in our life. If you want a vision or have a vision of how to make things better, either for yourself, for your family, for those who are, are really downtrodden and downcast, people who, who can't help themselves. If you can't see how to do that in your own mind, in your own heart, then it's important to have those people around you who have their own stories, who have their own examples, who have help out there for you, for those people who are looking. Um, it's important to have those people in your lives. And I know that's a big trust, but I promise you don't even have to meet them. So many of them are online. So many have written books. You don't actually have to let this person into your physical life, but you can allow them to start influencing you and see how the, the imaginable can become possible. So I just want to share with you a couple of my heroes. First of all, I have to say my biggest hero is Jesus. And Jesus is my biggest hero because first of all, he was the one who stood up for the lowly. He was the one who who was helping those who were really, really beaten down by society and circumstance and who were the poorest of the poor. That's who he came for. I love that. And the fact that he really showed how to love his enemies. Oh my goodness. That's really what I have to kind of judge my own character by is how well I'm doing at loving my enemies. And the third thing is that he walked the talk. He didn't just talk, he actually did it. So that's why he's one of my heroes. Another hero of mine is Dr. Daniel Amen. Dr. Daniel Amen, he makes brain health and brain science digestible for the people who are not neuropsychologists. And he gives tips and tools of how to take care of your brain, which really anybody can do. And it's, it's really important to understand the importance of taking care of and having good brain health. Another I talked about in a previous video is Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver is a chef and an advocate for health. And I love how he made children his primary focus of investing in them because he understands the impact. If we don't pour into the, the future, the youth, we're going to create sickness and illness and just absolute terrible things that are going to happen in our future because we're not empowering them. Quick side note, did you know that the opposite of empowerment is enslavement? Something to chew on there. Another is my mom. My mom is the most even keeled, calm, cool, and collected person that I've ever met. When things happen, she is one of those people who is slow to speak and slow to become angry. She is quick to listen, and I admire her for that. And she's been like that. She's never been perfect, I just wanna say that. She knows that, and she would want me to say that. She has never been perfect, but that is something that I appreciate and admire about her, and I want to become more like that. That's why I hang out with her. So for my mom, if she wasn't my mom, I'd choose her as my friend. And the last person that I want to mention, her name is her name is Liz Dixon. Liz Dixon is the founder of a ministry called Love Unveiled. And Love Unveiled is so powerful, it is very specifically about breaking through the chains that we've been in and bondage that we've been in that have kept us from really feeling the love that uh, God has for us. And the reason why I have her in my hero selection is because if you go to the website, there's not an all about Liz page. In fact, she very much keeps herself out of the limelight. She is very much a servant role in the organization. She does all the work, all the workshops, she has um, she has mentors to those who are underneath her and those who want to to do these workshops for others going into the prisons things like that but she does not take the credit she gives the credit to just one and i love that about her so these are individuals who i see have made a big impact and because i have a big impact and i have a big vision to 
help myself, to help my family, my children especially, and my nieces and nephews, because I have a vision for helping those who have no hope, who are desperate. I have that vision. I need to have people around me and people of influence who are smart, who so importantly walk the talk. And those who are identified, we can identify with them. That's so important. Uh, they don't put themselves on a pedestal to make themselves higher than everyone else. Those are people that I just, I don't associate with. So if you have a vision, if there's any part in you who says, you know what, I would like to make things better too, whether it be under your household, your own roof, or in your environment, your community, start seeing what people are saying. One step that I did early, early on, before I even knew I needed Real Heroes, was I started watching TED Talks. And TED Talks is all, so all about people who are heroes in their own rights, people who are um, looking to better our world, uh, their environment, their society, their community, down to their families and themselves. I don't want to say all of them are on that same purpose or mission. You have to filter through, but they all are very passionate about what they're doing. So if you know that you need wisdom and hope and encouragement and inspiration, then that's one place that you can go and start from there. I'm on my journey for about seven years now, so a little bit longer, um, but I, I didn't start here. I didn't start with having and being able to recognize all these great characters who are around me and who I can actively allow to influence me, whether personally in my own life or from afar. So I hope that this has helped you to start and ask yourself, what is your vision? What do you want to become? Take care, be well. If this was encouraging or inspiring to you, please share it with somebody. Uh, if you liked it, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're all about hope because that's what this channel is all about. It's about hope. It's about giving resources and empowerment for those who, who need that, who have that similar vision. So take care, be well, and I will see you on the next video.